Alrighty, good morning everyone. Um, so, I've been seeing on my Facebook feed quite a bit. Um, something that's really kind of kind of stuck with me. And normally I've got that ability to scroll past stuff, but I can't believe how many people are trying to petition to get the Mormon Tabernacle Choir to not perform at Trump's inauguration. Now, not going to argue ideology on this one, because the argument's a lot more basic than that. Right? Um, what it comes down to is, we feel like just because we get offended by something that gives us a power or ability to change things, when simply being offended just means you're offended. Um, what we're looking at here is a choir that's gained a reputation as America's choir, and people don't want America's Choir to perform at the American president's inauguration. And before someone says, well, he's not really our president, well, yeah, he is. Um, Trump has to be admired because he got through a lot of rigged election crap. But... <clears throat> You look at the history of the Mormon Tech and Tabernacle Choir, and they've performed for, like, I think eight different presidents. And there's no way that everyone agreed with these different people's ideologies. So, can you imagine going back 20 or 30 or even 40 years and saying, Oh, no, 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 no. Don't perform at the inauguration of a U.S. president, even though you are America's choir. Um... I think what this shows most of all is just how fractured we've become as a people. Okay? Um, we can't even stand behind or stand unified as one people anymore. Um, and I say this coming from a family and a background where I was taught that if you want something, you work for it, you earn it. Bad stuff happens, deal with it, and move on. But now I'm seeing, sadly, most of my gener a lot of my generation and a lot of the up and coming generation that are needing, you know, therapy dogs called in because Trump won. Because the election took place. That are needing finals cancelled because the election took place and it wasn't what they wanted. Let's call a spade a spade. That's just a tantrum. You know, we. Uh, when did we lose that point in growing up where tantrums weren't acceptable anymore? I mean, now that I'm an adult and having the job in law enforcement that I do, there's so much that we try to apply big kid vocabulary to when it's still stuff we should have learned in kindergarten, right? Okay, so, big thing about the rules of kindergarten that we all should have learned, you know? Don't take stuff that's not yours, don't hit people, play nice, take a nap, read a book, hold hands when you cross the street, look both ways. I, I really can't believe how far we've decided to push this idea that if we apply adult vocabulary to it, it's not the same thing. Right? Okay. Embezzlement, Grand Theft Auto, larceny. I love that one. Larceny. Makes it sound like it's, it's some other thing when it's still stealing. So... I was just flabbergasted at the amount of emotional response and apparently trauma that occurred because of Trump won the election. Um, we've had bad presidents in the past. I can accept this. I'd have thought there'd have been a little bit more outrage when, you know, when an actor made president. And now we're kind of surprised that a TV show star and businessman made president. I can't say I'm too surprised at that point. Um, but what is going to happen is that he's still going to get inaugurated. He's still going to be president. And unless we want Pence to step up and take that role, we're not going to.
going to assassinate Trump. Um, so, America's Choir is most likely going to perform. Because us uh, signing a petition, even if everyone in the world signed a petition to stop the Mormon Tabernacle Choir from performing at the inauguration, they're going to perform because guess what? That's their choice. Um, but the grown-up thing to do would be to say, okay, here's what he's doing. Here's what's happening. Here's what I still have the capacity to do. So I'm going to do that. Regardless of whether or not I agree with the big man in office. Um, chances are he's not gonna pull a Senator Palpatine and make this the empire. Some totalitarian dictatorship where nothing is free anymore. Probably not gonna happen. Chances are we're gonna do the old American thing and survive, because we've been good at that. Or hey, you know, we can go back to, to Mormon history and say, you know what, regardless of what happens. We're going to survive and flourish. It's true. It happened. Um, that's why Utah isn't a desert. Entirely a desert. Um, <sighs> survive and flourish. That's what we're, what's going to happen. That's what the grown-ups are going to do. The kids will probably still whine for their safe spaces and their therapy dogs and have pizzas ordered in. When can we, you know, start out growing tantrums again? Decide that's not a cool thing to do, regardless of what we decide to call it. Um, we are still capable of doing lots of amazing, wonderful things. And... You know, unfortunately, what's making the news is nothing remarkable or wonderful anymore, unfortunately. So, if you really want to show your displeasure, go do your own thing, right? I'm not saying be anarchic and try to get the anonymous to hack the White House or whatever, because that's a load of crap. But, go flourish in space. Bite of the odds. Okay? So, here's the thing. Here's the gig. Uh, do we remember a couple years ago, there was a gal named Elizabeth Smart who got kidnapped and had all sorts of bad things happen to her. And you know what she said about revenge? The best way to have revenge against your enemies is to lead a happy life. Okay? So you don't like Trump and you want to want to get revenge, show your displeasure, go be happy in spite of the bad crap that's happening. Sometimes you might have to change some things, totally worth it. Um, but start making things flourish again. Don't protest, because all protest is doing nowadays is showing that you're still capable of throwing tantrums. And big people throwing tantrums means there's guns and um, it means that there's snipers involved and a lot of people dying that don't need to die because of a tantrum. But start flourishing. Find your thing you love to do and go do it. Go find something that's bigger than your hatred of Trump, or if that, if that's really all you've got to look forward to, okay? Because regardless of what happens, we're still capable of being happy. We're still capable of doing great and wonderful things. And if anything, America's Choir has shown that. The history of the LDS people has shown that, right? So get out there, go do something. That's it for me.